Blue 42! Hut! Hut! Hey everybody, I'm Greg Bedard, the NFL writer at the Boston Globe, here with Super Bowl champion tight end Jermaine Wiggins, and we're going inside the Patriots playbook with what else? The game-winning score <laughs> against the Cowboys on Sunday and the Patriots' big victory going into the bye week. Um, okay, Jermaine, now this, this seems a good time to talk about kind of what the quarterback, what Brady's looking at mm -hmm. pre-snap because, you know, as we've talked about a lot, Rob Ryan, Rex Ryan, in this case Rob Ryan, mm -hmm. they do a really good job yep. of disguising pre-snap mm -hmm. to post-snap what they want to do. What do you think – what is Brady seeing before this play because – I'm seeing a lot of things yeah. that could happen. Well, first thing first, Brady is thinking, all right, we're already in field goal range. It's about 20-something seconds left on the clock. I can take a chance at the end zone. He's coming up. He looks. He surveys the defense. sees a very exotic front. You've got a linebacker. You've got an end. You've got Spencer walking around. You've got another linebacker. You know, as he looks at the contour of the defense, he says, okay, i got Branch and Welker to this side. But look at the defenders they have over there. They have a linebacker. They have a DB, they have another DB, and they have a safety. It's four against two over there. I don't want to go to that side of the field because that's the advantage for Dallas. Now, if you come back to this side, which is the side he came to, you see Gronkowski and Hernandez. You know there's a good chance this is where, so you know there's a good chance he's rushing. Here's Lee, here's a safety, here's a DB. So this was that, that was yeah, where? Yeah, that was where. And so if you look at it, it's three on two. My chances are better. Even if they double here, I got one-on-one -on -one coverage here. Or if they double here, I got one-on-one -on -one coverage here. So let's go through the play and see what happens. As the play develops, Gronkowski's going to run a out route in the end zone, 10-yard out route. Hernandez is key on this. He wins at the line of scrimmage, takes an inside release, and goes towards the middle of the end zone and runs an in route. So Brady looks over here. He wants – Gronkowski, and Gronkowski's a big target. Dallas actually does a good job because 50, Lee, he runs underneath him, so he takes the underneath throw away from him. But what the safety does, Sensabar, and I don't know if this is what, you know, Rob Ryan wanted him to do if he wanted him to play across. He jumps Gronkowski, which leaves this hole wide open for Hernandez. But you got you to gotta pick your poison, so you double Gronkowski, and now you're left with Hernandez. And this is the key when you have a guy like Hernandez who you can line up outside and who could create matchup problems. He's going against the smaller DB. He's a bigger guy. And what he does good that I like, if you see as the DB and him run, the DB actually has good coverage, but Hernandez comes back downhill to make that DB now have to go through him, which allows himself to make a play on the ball. Very similar to what Ocho Cinco had in the Buffalo game, but he rounded it, which allowed the DB to undercover it. Hernandez does a great job coming downhill. Now the only thing that can happen is he either makes a catch or a touchdown or it's a drop pass because the DB can't make a play. He can't intercept the ball. They come back to the line of scrimmage and, you know, they try to make, they try to make another play if Hernandez doesn't make this catch. But it was a great route, great catch, design, Brady pre-snap read. He saw it because as soon as he, he looked for Gronkowski, he saw the safety jump down and knew he had the big hole back there. And he came back. Woodhead came out of the backfield, so he would have been the third option if Hernandez wasn't there. I think this is, like you said, a great illustration of the matchup problems mm -hmm. that Gronkowski and Hernandez present because, I mean, truth be told, Sensabaugh, like you said, Lee had great coverage. Yeah. You know, really... It's, I don't know if they're worried about the size advantage that Gronkowski has. kind of Because pre-snap, you, you pretty much saw that Lee was likely, unless he came on a blitz, was going to be one-on-one -on -one with Gronkowski. And I was thinking, he's going to go to Gronk on this. But it, it's a pick well, your poison. I mean, yeah. do you go over the top or do you stay? I, that would have been the tougher yeah. throw for Brady. Well, but what I think you do, with what you notice was Brady looks over here. So he looks for Gronkowski, mm -hmm. but Lee plays the route underneath. It's an out route, so Lee's underneath the out route, so Brady would have to throw the ball over the top and put some air on it here, mm -hmm. which is a tough throw, but I think as he looks and he starts to see, he sees the safety now drives really hard to double, and that's what Brady saw. He's like, okay, I was going to Gronk, but Lee played a good job underneath, and then as I, as I pumped, he drove, which now opened up this back window. If the safety smarts, he hangs there, so which he's going to create a problem. So now as Hernandez comes in, the safety's right there. So his only other option, because Lee's out of the picture, is now hitting Woodhead out of the backfield, which he had, which would have been his third read. So he went, he went Gronkowski 1, Hernandez 2, and he would have came back to Woodhead 3 because he came on this side of the field. But on his second read, 
was the touchdown to Hernandez. Well, it's good to have Gronkowski and Hernandez on yeah, your team. Mismatch problems. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks, Jermaine. Uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. And we'll see you next week after the bye to take a look at the Steelers for the Patriots' next game.